everyone, I'm Heather, and welcome back to my week-by-week -week pregnancy journal. If this is your first time here, I'll be talking about absolutely everything that happened to me during week 24 of my first pregnancy. Check out the description area for a quick breakdown of this video if you just want to skip around to a certain topic or check how my bump is progressing. This week, the baby's about the size of an ear of corn. It's about 11.5 inches. I hope my eyes didn't go across that right there. And 1.5 pounds. Development this week, the face is actually fully formed now and brain activity is actually close to that of a newborn. The lungs are developing, but for now the baby actually still gets oxygen through the placenta. I also read somewhere that the next few weeks coming up will be the weeks that the baby is actually at its most active, which is exciting because he's like moving like crazy, but also kind of sad to know that maybe it'll kind of stop you know, when he gets too big to move around like he is now. So I'm like, the next few weeks, I'm ready to just enjoy all the movements and let everybody feel my belly. Symptoms this week, indigestion is just always gonna be there. It has gotten worse. It's more like acid reflux now. I've woken up in the middle of the night and you know, right before bed had have taken Tums already. So I don't wanna take them again. So I came across a little saltine pack, you know, the one with two in it from my husband getting soup one time somewhere. And that actually helped me in the middle of the night. So I stocked up on like those individual packs because I don't eat them that often, but to have them on hand is probably a good idea. So that did help calm that acidy feeling that was creeping up my soul. <sighs> Another thing is just those back pains. It's not a constant thing. It's just upper body turns and then my lower body follows, like my hips switch over after. And it's just because I'm expecting that shooting stab pain to just zing through my body and then it turns me into the devil in the middle of the night because it hurts so bad. But then once I let it linger out for a few minutes, it you know disappears and then I'm finally able to try and fall asleep again. And it doesn't happen every single time I twist and turn. It's just occasionally and I said to my husband the other day I'm like well, sometimes I pop up out of bed to go to the bathroom and I'm fine like good to go like jump up out of bed and then other times I sit up and when I bear weight on my legs it's kind of like you just have to let it settle out it's just completely weird can't even explain it <laughs> so another thing is sneezing and peeing a little bit <laughs> it literally just squirts out <laughs> And I think it was more when I was at work and, you know, I'm a nurse, so I run around and I my bladder gets full, but then if I go to the bathroom and somebody's in there, I go back to what I was doing and forget to go pee again. And that's not a good thing. Everybody should pee. You know, don't hold your bladder. But then I sneezed the one time. <laughs> I was, like, looking at a chart and, like, everybody was around. And I'm like, oh, my God, I just peed a little. <laughs> and everybody started laughing, but I, and I, you know... I was like, well, I, my bladder is full, so hopefully, you know, I just don't start peeing when I'm sneezing or coughing for no reason. I'm just blaming it on, you know, my bladder was full and that's why it happened, but it's happening. <laughs> Cravings. I love tiramisu this week. I had to go out to the store and go get it. I don't know if it's a craving or it's just really good. <laughs> I just have fulfilled that urge a couple times. <laughs> How my body has changed this week, my weight is back to normal. So it's like on trend for me gaining one to one and a half pounds per week. I know last week I was saying that I went to my doctor's appointment and the difference from the four weeks that they had last seen me was only 0.8 pounds. So I really think it was just related to dehydration and being sick, taking a sick that day that day and not really eating all of my meals because I was sleeping. And then I realized I had my appointment and ran to it. But I am up 13 pounds from pre-pregnancy weight. So we are trending right now. And when I go to my next follow up in four weeks, I'll probably be like double the weight and they'll be like, what happened? A lot of tiramisu. A lot of tiramisu. <laughs> So I didn't measure my belly. I knew sometimes I give you guys a waist, like underbelly measurement. I It feels like it's probably the same around like a gain of three and a half inches or something like that total. But um, I could definitely tell my uterus is definitely higher when they measured me at the last appointment. You know, it's what, four or five fingers higher. So it's uh, definitely rising up and I've sucked in before to see like where he's lying and it's it's getting a little harder to do. I can still do that and like see where my belly is. You wanna see? Can you say it real quick? Yeah, kinda. Of. Hey. Yeah. Whoa. Turn to me. You pull up your shirt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird thing that I can do. It's my hidden talent. But I think it's cool. You can see where he's laying. Yeah. 
emotionally how am I feeling I keep getting sucked into the world of YouTube you know watching other people's birthing videos that gets me super emotional and my husband will walk in on me and be like what are you doing like I, I'll be you know told oh finish this for me please and you know he finds me laying on the bed and I'm like oh I just watched this 25 minute video <laughs> And it's just, I just think it's amazing, you know, be, people putting that out there for people to see and it's its all just so emotional. I could probably get emotional now thinking about it, but it makes, watching other people's videos makes you think about, wonder how your process is going to be and how your delivery will unfold and hoping that all goes well, of course, but it's just magical, I think, popping out a little human from inside of you. <laughs> like. He's there now, but for him to be out in the world and complete, I just, I don't know. That's a crazy feeling. And to know that your body made this tiny little human that's perfect, knock on wood. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten into searching that kind of thing, I just opened up a whole can of worms that you probably didn't even want to get into, but now you're stuck and <laughs> you'll enjoy it and maybe it'll open up your eyes depending on how graphic of a video that you do watch. I make sure that my husband watches videos of deliveries and births and stuff like that and on our Instagram you can follow us it's called the gingy pants and I put my weekly updates there but on that Instagram I follow mostly you know moms that are delivering at the same time as me or birthing raw footage from people giving birth. So every time he logs on to that, he sees something and it just completely screws with his mind. But I'm like, I'm preparing you. I do not need you to faint in the <laughs> delivery room. You're getting used to all the stuff that is gonna come out of me. And he told me, well, I'll, I think I'll be like, you know, standing up near your head. I'm like, you don't know, you, you might wanna watch that. So I'm like, I don't want you to be, you know, delivered to the emergency room with a head injury because you fall over and crack your head open in the middle of a baby coming out. So get used to it. I think you should tell your husbands to get used to it too. Dookie dookie. <laughs> Things we did this week, I went to my chiropractor again, and this week it was two weeks out from the last time that I went. I'm starting to feel like I am at a good point, like I don't need to, you know, go anymore. So I said to her after this appointment, she did crack me, you know, like both sides of my lower back and then the center of my back, and I just feel like I'm holding the adjustments well, and the back pain that I do have is just not something that's gonna go away. It's like at a level that I can deal with it. And I said, where do we go from here? So she made my next appointment for a month out, and I. I told my husband like I just really think I don't need to go but I'll just leave it and then when that starts to approach then I can you know see if I want to cancel it or reschedule it or I am a hundred percent happy with the results of going to the chiropractor and her solving my compressed nerve issue in the lower right side of my back so I may have talked about this last week but we did get our first baby gift in the mail from our friends in Colorado they cannot attend our baby shower and it's just exciting, but I wanted to show you which carrier we got. So we got the Ergo Baby 360. It's a four position baby carrier. This was recommended to us by our brother and sister-in-law and literally everybody that we talk to that has a baby. So we got this and then we got the baby insert. So this is an infant insert for the baby carrier. I think my husband will probably use this one more than I will because I got the baby Catan. So I think somebody will probably, I think somebody from looking at the registry maybe purchased that already but it's sized to your body so he can't he literally can't use the baby katan but this one both of us can use and it adjusts and we are so excited to get that and actually today we found another little box on our porch it was another gift from our friends that live in Massachusetts that won't be able to attend our shower in a few weeks also they actually got me one of my favorite gifts I don't even think they know this yet but it was just the cutest little thing. It's this little chomp and stomp shark gift set and it comes with a bib. It's got a little bite mark out of it. And then the little shoes, they're zero to nine months. They have little tails on them. <laughs> little shark bite faces. I just think I can't wait to put this on him. It's just so cute. And, and take a picture. <laughs> and take a picture. And they also got us um, two of the sound machines that are on our registry. So this one is the Home Medic Sound Spa. It's a portable sound machine. These are all recommendations from our friends and family that 
use them so I will let you know when the baby comes how I feel about them the other one is another portable this is like a on-the-go it has a little carrier that you can hang it on like their baby car seat or something like that in the stroller and it's also just like an another soothing sound machine it has four soothing sounds auto timer option it just says easy easy to take everywhere so Yay, thank you. This week also my husband wanted to get another baby swaddle and it's okay. He loves baby swaddles. This one is from Clementine Kids and it's a sloth baby swaddle. I just think it is adorable. I don't know what it is about sloths but they're just so cute, they're slow and your baby's gonna be little baby sloth. <laughs> so I can't wait to wrap them in this. We're gonna have a lot of swaddles but hey, you can't ever have too many swaddles, right? They like poop on them and throw up on them. So. so this past week was Mother's Day and I guess my husband thought that I told him I didn't want to do anything for Mother's Day because it technically wasn't my first Mother's Day but I always want him to make me a card so he got the hint and he made me a card while I was in the shower and it is the sweetest card I've ever seen. This is a card. He's just so talented. Happy soon to be Mother's Day and it's like this is me as a flower and a little baby seed. And he said he's the pollinator, the little bee floating around. And wrote me a little message inside. So cute. One of the things he said was, he's one lucky kid, but in four months he is mine. Because he's all mine right now. Now I share him with him, I make him feel him kick. Another exciting thing is I went to go see my one friend and I had her feel my belly because I'm like, you know, I haven't had a lot of people feeling the kicks yet except for like my mom and my husband and I think my brother like one time but so I pushed him around and I, I was like I know that when I lay on the couch that's the only time that he really can move enough that you could feel him so I laid on her couch I was like and I had her just lay, lay in there holding my belly and she felt the kicks so she felt about three kicks and it was just exciting seeing her excited and the fact that yay I can provoke him and other people can feel and move. This week also we had dinner with friends that are expecting one week before us actually our due dates were a day apart until mine got reassessed because the baby size is seven days smaller and they are delivering at the same hospital as us well we found that out when we had dinner with them and I was like how crazy would it be if they're delivering we're delivering and we're like walking the halls trying to make labor come along and like the guys are high-fiving in the hallway it was just cool to see like what page they're on and where their brains are at because we're so close and like literally on the same page I guess she's 26 weeks and I am now 25 weeks today. So one of the things my friend did tell me when we were talking about our pregnancies and kind of comparing is that she experiences maybe once a day that her one boob expresses a little bit of you know liquid. I don't know if you can consider it milk yet. Uh, I guess so but I guess the doctor said that she's you know she's lactating from that breast and that it's normal and it happens. It has not happened to me but for anybody that's watching this and it's happening to you, it's happening to other people and it's normal. So that was something new for me to hear because uh, my body's not doing that yet maybe um, or maybe it won't happen until the baby's born but yeah. Also, so we ordered a crib last week and it arrived this week. It was pretty quick. I didn't think that it would come for maybe a few weeks. So my husband got it in the mail, brought it in, and he texted me while I was at work and said that the crib is here. And I thought I'd come home and it would already be built in, <laughs> in the middle of the room or something. But he waited for me and we opened it out of the box and it was broken. So that was a bummer. And of course it was just, you know, the issue of picking a crib. It's like, what do you want and what do you want? I want to see something in the store and then purchase that to know that it's sturdy and I tried to convince him like no this one's good let's just buy it online it is from bye bye baby so it's reputable but uh, you know things get injured in transport all the time so the backboard of the crib was broken and when we took it out the dowels kind of like broke we called the company and they were awesome about replacing it right away they're gonna send us a sticker we'll put it in the mail and they'll ship us out a new one so of course my brain was like do we even try for a new one he looked at it more and said you know it is pretty sturdy so I think we're gonna give it another try see if the other one comes and if it's in good shape if it is then we'll set it up make sure that it is sturdy and you know go from there rather than just kind of trying to figure out a whole nother crib now after we finally made a decision fingers crossed we will see what happens with that next one when it comes what's comforting to me definitely feeling kicks and definitely provoking kicks putting oil on my belly all of that stuff is very comforting 
when I look down at my belly and I'm like, you know, my skin looks pretty good. I am happy that I've been putting the oil on. I think that it has something to do with keeping my elasticity good and preventing stretch marks. So I'm happy with how my belly is growing. And did I say how much I love my maternity pillow? Because if not, at some point in the last videos. I am just obsessed with my maternity pillow. I think I showed it to you in one of the videos when I first got it, but it's like the U-shaped maternity pillow and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have to get rid of it. <laughs> my husband did tell me that once the baby's born that the pillow has to go and I don't know, I just, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. <laughs> We're just gonna have to not think about it right now. It is just awesome. Even he grabs it sometimes and he's like, oh, this pillow is nice. It's like a whole body. It's like a body laying on you. It's like little legs. I just feel like it's so comforting. Oh, sorry, Joe. <laughs> it's okay, I'll live. Thoughts this week. I think about how it's, it's funny that more and more people are just confident to just assume that I'm pregnant now. I mean, it's a good thing, I guess. It, it looks like a round belly. I don't know, I'm, I'm not offended, because I am pregnant. So I could see how if people just assume because you have a rounder belly and say that, uh, that it would be offensive. But um, people, a lot of people are just like, you know, they approach it in a way like saying, oh, boy or girl. And I'm like, no, oh, it's a boy. Or by just saying, oh, congratulations. Or, you know, oh, when are you due? So it's not, exactly asking me, oh, are you pregnant? It's just little things kind of hinting that they see my belly and they want to acknowledge it and tell me I'm cutie pie. <laughs> Other thoughts, I told my mom on Mother's Day too that it's just crazy feeling to know, like it's more of, I have more of an understanding of how much my mom loves me because I, I feel that way about the baby already. Like I just, I can't imagine how much I'm gonna love him when he's out of my belly, judging by how much I already love him and he's just wiggling around inside of me. And to my mom, I was like, I know why you just stare at me sometimes, especially when I was just growing up, she was just admiring her baby and the changes and just how much that she loves me. And I'm like, I can't wait to stare at my baby and annoy him as much as you've annoyed me <laughs> as I grew up. And I won't care how much my kid is annoyed because I just love them that much that I just want to stare at them and admire them. Another thought, and it's probably crazy to even think this, but it's gone through my mind multiple times as my bump gets, you know, rounder and in my head, I think it's just cute. <laughs> How much I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. And I know I'm gonna be even more excited because the baby's here, but I am just loving having a round belly and just being able to touch it and rest my hands on it <laughs> and just be like, my baby's in there. So that's it for my week 24 update. I am just totally enjoying every part of pregnancy and it's getting better and better. I, my only negatives really are the indigestion and the back pains at times and I hope that everyone can have such a great pregnancy because I, I just feel blessed that I am not dealing with anything really major else right now, knock on wood. So that's it for my week 24 update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell to get notifications of when I post my next video. And definitely leave any comments of any pregnancy tips or product suggestions that you may have that have made your life easier during this process. This is my first time. I am learning as we go and I am watching all of your videos and reading your suggestions and uh, taking them into consideration. It's been very fun so far and I am just learning as we go. And now let's take a look at how my bump is progressing. So this is my bump for week 24, day one of week 25. And bigger and bigger.